What's up, y'all? It's your boy, man. Come back with another video, man. As y'all can see by the title, I'm doing something a little different today, man. So today, as y'all seen by the title, it's my first story time, man. So on a different side of me, instead of my music videos, or my reaction videos and stuff like that, just basically getting to know me as a van, you know what I'm saying? So in my first story time, it's about how I got my first tattoo, man. So my first tattoo is right here. It is a time clock and a rose and it's red, green, and it's a little bit of white and like the beads on the tap, the time clock. It's very, very in depth and detail. Cost me a quite a bit of money. But anyways, man, I was 20. I just got out of AIT from the army. I made it my I'm a truck driver. Uh just came back from AIT. Um, you know, it's vigorous training and stuff that we had to go through. So um, you know, over my time, just going the basic training. You know, I got more closer to got my religious side, got more closer to God. You know, it give you more time to work on yourself uh, as a person. It give you more time to think about things because as you're in basic training, you don't got no phone, you don't got nothing. The only thing you got to do, the only book they give you is the Bible. So, you know, get close to God, man. I feel like that's good for anybody. I like the reason why I get tattoos is because. It, um, if I get a tattoo or anything, it means a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? It means, it means something that's very important to me. So, I said, well, when I get back, I'm a, um, I mean, all my tattoo religious, you know what I'm saying? So I, I said, I mean, all my tattoo religious. Got back home, I think it was around February or March. I've right, been a minute. It was around that I came back home, uh, 2019. Um, so I hit up my dog, um, Scooter. I said, man, let's go to Tallahassee, man. I want to get a tattoo, man. He said, all right, man, let's go, man. Uh, my best friend, Noon, he came over. So all of them came over. They said, what type of tattoo you want, man? I said, man, um, I was looking at some, um, some pictures or whatnot for where I want to get some ideas. So I said, man, I want to get like a rose and a time clock. Then I thought about getting the time clock. So what made me want to get the time clock is mean that, you know, our time here is not forever. So, you know, all our time is ticking. You know what I'm saying? You know when day going to be, you know when it's going to happen. Got all of us got a day when we're going to pass on. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got that because it meant a lot to me, man. So, so I got that rose, that time clock. And I really got the rose kind of look cool for real, for real. I ain't going to count. Man, they don't look look fine. They don't look fine with the um, you know, they got a um, time clock. So that's why I got to it, man. And then I got some more stuff. And this really was like my tattoo, man. This was like my first tattoo. This took um, I think I, how long it took. It took about three hours for them to do all this tattoo, man. But my first tattoo that sucked, like that really, really sucked, bro. Oh God. So anybody out there that haven't got a tattoo yet, that's thinking about getting a tattoo, make sure y'all go small, like for real, for real. Make sure y'all go small, cause y'all might not, y'all might not like it. Y'all might not like the feeling, cause it really hurts. You know what I'm saying? Especially I went big, so you know what I'm saying. So in my mind, like I'm gonna go big or go home. You feel me? So you know I had to go hard for my, <laughs> for my first time. But it hurt, bro. Like it really, really hurt. I ain't gonna count. It really hurt for three hours. That really hurt. But you know I stuck it through like a man and I got it done. So like the first hour, it was like, my first hour really wasn't bad. The outline, a lot of people said they don't like when they outline it, but the outline really wasn't bad to me. But the shading, that shading hurt, bro. I swear, that shading hurt. Like, when they start shading it over and over again, I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, it just keep on, like, the shading really hurt. Like, I swear to God, the shading really, I really did not like the shading, bro. Like, the shading is like, when they shade it, it literally like five needles like hit your skin at one time, bro. And I had a lot of uh, red and different colors and stuff. So with mine being so detailed that it was, like they kept on going over the same spot that they were already hitting. So that made it even worse, like for real, for real. Like I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, but like, I was like, man, I don't even want to get this bit no more, for real, for real. But you know, I stuck it out on, um, got it did. Um, you know, it really wasn't that bad once I got over it, you know what I'm saying? 
But the worst part of the tattoo when it hit like right here, like going towards just like your armpit, that's like all that sensitive. All this right here, all that really, really sensitive, bro. Like for real, for real. Like you get anything like right here, like it hurts so bad, like somebody stabbing you with a knife or something. I swear to God. Like all that, all that really, really hurt. But other than that, um, other, other than them being when they shading it, when they kept on shading and going over the same spot, that really would hurt the most. But other than that, it really wasn't that bad, man. But um, if it's something that you really like, that you really love, you know, go get it, man. Something mean a lot to you, man. Go get the tattoo. It don't matter what nobody else think. It doesn't matter what you think. It's your body. You do what you want to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Something means a lot to you. Get it, man. But at the end, you're going to be happy with it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end, you know, I'm happy with it. It wasn't no bad tattoo, and I never regret it because it's something that I thought about for a real long time, and I made my decision about it that this is what I wanted. So basically, you know what I'm saying? I'm in love with it. I feel like I'm always going to be in love with it, and I'm glad this is my first tattoo. And I'll let y'all, uh, I'll let y'all look at the other tattoos I got. You know, I got a little dove right here with a little cross. I got CMXI, that's my birthday, 911, 9-11. Then I got like one right here, it's like uh, a little chest piece with a Bible verse, and this is a uh, John 316 right here. So that's pretty much all my tattoos. I really got like a half sleeve right here. But yeah, man, so um, what it came out to, this tattoo came out to like $320, bro. And all honest, all honestly, it wasn't worth $320. I really feel like I got finessed, for real, for real. But anyway, it was my first tattoo. I wanted it real bad, so I said, fuck it, I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, so that pretty much gonna sum this video, man. Um, just basically just talking about, you know, a little story time, man. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share this video. I'm going to see y'all on the next one.